ג'ייקוב ראובן, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. And thank you for bringing your very special mandolin with you. Jacob, I think uh, when it comes to mandolin playing, you really need no introduction from us, because during the years you have established yourself a fantastic reputation, both in Israel and abroad. And I think I won't be exaggerating if I will describe you as one of the best mandolin players today. Thank you, it's a big compliment. So how did it all start? It started in, uh, in Israel, in Be'er Sheva. Actually, it's a little city in the south of Israel. And a few of the best mandolin players became familiar with this instrument there. Uh, historically, the first teacher was uh, Simcha Natanzon. Uh, actually, he was a violin player. And he was very, very tough with the students about playing uh, repertoire of violin on the mandolin. I think this is the first point. So this is the first trauma you have yes. experienced. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to, to play a Paganini a Caprice number 24 on mandolin, or uh, to be fast in the Bumblebee flight in uh, one minute. And basically Natanzon is the one who proved to you that sometimes mission impossible can be possible. Yes, for him it's always the same sentence. that. You can go uh, work in a factory for, for air conditioner, uh, and it's fine, it's okay, but if you really be uh, a good musician on the mandolin, it doesn't matter which instrument you have, uh, it's the music, and if you do the, uh, good music for the instrument, it, it's okay, if it's a mandolin, it's a harp, it, it's fine. You have uh, quite a few CDs uh, behind you, yes. and... Uh, one of them has uh, Vivaldi's music. Yes, yeah, Vivaldi, Vivaldi concert, concertos for mandolin. And uh, it's no secret that uh, a few, more than one, Israeli uh, orchestras uh, have been working with you before and are quite eager to continue this cooperation. And basically when you do perform with uh, an orchestra, you are the soloist. Yes. You have the, the limelight as you deserve, but you also compose your own music. Yes, usually my music, yeah, I think if I try to, to define it, it's between world music to classical music and Spanish music. And I have my own sonata for mandolin, so sonata for mandolin, and a few quartet for ethnic quartet. That, uh, I played with and uh, about repertoire for mandolin with orchestra there is few um, uh, pieces for mandolin in the orchestra like Mozart on Giovanni uh -huh. there is a very famous aria with mandolin player right. and Lehar um, even in Otello there is a part for mandolin but it's small part and it's not more than three minutes and this is the reason most of my repertoire it's concertos for violin that I perform on mandolin, like Saint Sans, Mendelssohn. Amazing. You need, you need a, uh, I think, an open mind conductor to do it, but in Israel and outside, we have a few that are interesting. And I did it now in Spain with uh, um, Valencia Philharmonic, and in, in the start it was a little bit weird because violin player used to hear since sounds on violin <laughs> and the first few notes was, was a little bit smiles but after it we enjoyed the good music it's very exciting yes it's and great uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's as if you are shaking the classical world yes a little bit but i can because it's a little instrument so uh, yeah we we'll soon, <laughs> soon we'll discuss this very very special instrument but before that we heard some rumors that there is uh, now a composer who is composing a concerto for mandolin and orchestra for you, especially. Yes, uh, there is two concertos now the, that in the summer I hope we will have uh, uh, the, the partitura fully for the concerto. And the first one is Evgeny Levitas. It's a known uh, Israeli composer that uh, writes a classical concerto, a neoclassical concerto for mandolin and philharmonic orchestra. 
And the other one uh, that I discussed with is Peretz Eliyahu, that uh, composed uh, usually for ethnic instrument, but now he's trying for this classical mandolin. Wow, sounds very, very interesting. When it comes to performances, uh, I know that you are performing quite extensively, both in Israel and abroad. Will it be right to describe it as uh, 50% abroad, 50% in Israel? Yes, I think I think it's between 50, maybe 40% out of Israel, 60% here. Okay. And before going out of Israel, it must be a very special project with a very unique orchestra, and because I'm lucky to have a lot of concert here in Israel. We are lucky too. When you compare the audiences in Israel and abroad, what are the differences? This is surprising. It's a good question. Um, the image is that I think in Israel classical music is less uh, common and uh, people will not understand the difference between first chapter of concerto to the second. And <clears throat> what I discovered in, in the last year is that we have um, here in Israel a warm audience that is very is interested in classical music and is learning about me, classical music a lot. The audience that comes to hear classical concert in Israel usually know about the music, about the instrument, about the performer more than the audience that come to concert in, outside of Israel. This is a bit uh, surprising. Yes, this is very surprising. Yeah. Yeah. And it means also that there is hope when it comes to even the young generation. Yes. They are a bit interested in classical music. Yes, yes. Yeah. Young, uh, young uh, mandolin player now, or ma students for mandolin, have, have a long way, but it's easier than our uh, way, because we were some kind of pioneer with this new instrument, and with this uh, uh, playing a part of a violin, or trying to put the mandolin in the front of classical orchestra. And now, I think it's easier, because you see it a lot, and it's not a surprise to see a mandolin, as a, a mandolin player as a solist in, in classical concert. And I think it's now uh, the right time to discuss the very, very special instrument you are holding. Yes, yeah. uh, is it true that in Israel you can find one of the very special mandolin builders yes. who has revo revolutionized the instrument you are holding? Yes, this is the... Um, uh, for me, it's very exciting to speak about this. Uh, it's a special mandolin by the luthier uh, Ari Kerman that lives in Tel Aviv. Uh, it's not uh, in, like the original instrument for Napoli because the original mandolin has some kind of circle here and the sound is a bit different. Uh, what's special in this instrument is that it's not one mandolin, it's two mandolin. And uh, Ari has a special way to build mandolin, a little one, inside a big mandolin for having more resonance. Uh, the, the mandolin is louder than a uh, usual mandolin and the most important thing is that I can play on this mandolin uh, repertoire for violin because it's built on the same principle of violin. Amazing. Will you be kind enough to demonstrate? Uh, yes. We we'll write something from <coughs> the violin repertoire. Another thing is from the famous etude for violin from Fiorillo.
the typical sound you expect to hear from a normal yes a normal mandolin it's uh, more trouble this instrument has more bass and the sound is circle almost a high-tech mandolin the high-tech mandolin yes, it's a good, uh, <laughs> good nice. name this is the new name from the uh, for the Arik mandolin excellent and you will get the uh, rights for it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know that you are working now on a very special uh, project w uh, building or uh, starting an international uh, quartet quartet mandolin quartet. will you be kind enough uh, to tell us a bit about it um, yes this is the Kerman mandolin quartet um, it's it, it is a mandolin quartet that based on the uh, bow or on the violin or the string quartet uh, of two violin viola and cello we will play it uh, in with two mandolin mandola and mandocello built by Ari Kerman and that's the reason for the name yes the, the Kerman mandolin quartet all the instruments are from Israel from built by Arik and he was uh, kind enough to give it to us and uh, what's special about it is that each player in the quartet is from, is from another country um, there is a Spanish uh, amazing musician, Marie Kerman, uh, Italian uh, mandolin player, Fabio Gallucci, and uh, Vincent uh, from France. And they are all very excited, they are solists, they uh, perform all over the world, and they are dedicated for the Kerman quartet and going to play on the Ari Kerman instrument. Uh, and the repertoire are going to be a repertoire for violin quartet. Fantastic. When can we expect the first uh, performance? So, it, uh, the premiere will be in Israel. This is, was the only condition by our camera. For Good, for us. Yeah. Good for us. That the, he, he asked us to make premiere concert in Israel. It, I think it's going to be in October, this October. Excellent. And for sure you will know about it. And we'll be more than happy to come and uh, maybe bring uh, part of it uh, for our viewers. Uh, Jacob, if I can ask you about the interest by Israelis in playing and uh, studying the mandolin. Um, I think by here it's, it's less and less students and interest in mandolin. It's in decline. Yes, it's going down um, because it's still, it's still a, a solist instrument and to be a mandolin player, to go around for concert, I think one of ten can do it. For so ten students, one becomes solist. And in other instruments, you have the orchestra and the oboe and violin. They have opportunity for chamber music and for orchestral uh, music. In mandolin, if you are not a solist, it's a big problem. And, but the last two years, I see there are two or three students that are very interesting and it's, it's very surprising to see how much time and energy they are putting in and they want to do it as a solist. So there is hope. There is hope. There is hope, but it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Well, maybe it's never meant to be if you have to prove yourself as a, an artist. You need some kind of... Uh, right. I know that a couple of years ago, if I'm not wrong, you have invested lots of time and efforts in a very special project when it comes to bringing the mandolin to Israelis of uh, Arab descent. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yes, the project uh, named Maktoub was uh, converted that uh, combined classical music with our music and, uh, and original music for the quartet. Uh, it built on four musicians, two is uh, Israel, Jewish Israeli and two were uh, Israeli Arabs. Um, it's difficult because a few times uh, the first question that, we, that people ask is if the music is not enough, why do we need to have some kind of bridge between uh, religions and between culture? But for me, it, it, it was so interesting to, to explore the, our music uh, because the mandolin is not a natural instrument in our music. So it was an opportunity to explore the connection uh, between classical music to our music and to explore and to understand and, uh, the friendship 
and the different of making music with wood and with mandolin because it's a similar instrument, it's very close, but the traditional way to work on music and to prepare music is totally another style of way, and a way to... When you compare the mandolin and wood, you'll say they are cousins. Yes. But well, we say the same about our neighbors. So it's yeah. okay. Yes, it's very close. <laughs> I didn't think about it like this. <laughs> And what about the young uh, students? I think you have uh, you have managed to gather forty mandolins. Yes, I, I, there is a special project here in Jerusalem, actually, in the bilingual the bilingual uh, school. Uh, and the project is t trying to to teach mandolin from age of seven and eight for three or two years, and in. The basic is totally classical, they play uh, classical etudes and, uh, and scales, but after two and two, two or three years of studying, uh, each student has, um, uh, he, he can choose between classical music to our music, and it's some, something like 50% that uh, are going to classical music and 50% going to our music, sometimes it's a little bit different. And actually we have now, it's five years of teaching uh, mandolin in the in this school and now we have an orchestra to play uh, harp and classical music. Excellent. Mandolin orchestra. Excellent. It's an unfair question. If you have to choose your favorite uh, the musical piece, wow. what, would, what would it be? The favorite one. I said it's unfair. Yes, it's... Uh, For the mandolin or for for the mandolin? For the mandolin. So maybe we can hear. Um, I think for the mandolin, one of the best is uh, I played the Isai Sonata. Isai is a romantic uh, composer. He was a violin player that composed amazing six sonata for violin solo. From where was he? Uh, Bel Bel for Belgium. 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 In, in France. And um, which century? Uh, it's a romantic area, it's, I think it's between... 18, 19. Yes. And uh, what uh, Isai dedicated the six sonata to Bach, because Bach has six sonata and brought it for violin solo. And uh, each sonata named for, in the name of one of the big violin players, like Menuchin, and uh, she's looking at one of Bach partita also. And I think the second one, the ballad, is something uh, from another world. Will you be kind enough to spoil it's a little bit for a sample? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in my concerts. I'll be there. Thank you very much.